What is up guys? Welcome to a metagame of the month. We've done a couple of these before. Smogon has started a new one for the month of October and I looked at it and I really really liked it so I wanted to try it out. I built a team a little bit earlier. I think we're currently 5-0 and with this team. Let me just give you an idea of what this metagame actually is. So basically your first move slot on any one of your Pokemon has the exact same base power as return. So that means base power of 102. As long as your happiness is set to max, then it hits 102. So there's a couple of very interesting moves that get a crazy buff from the uh, the power increase, such as Mega Beedrill's Fell Stinger uh, or Mega Pincer's Faint. And that's the team that we're gonna be using today is a Mega Pincer team. So we've got Faint in the first slot. So this is base 102 right now, plus two priority. So it's faster than Talonflame's Brave Bird, uh, faster than Weavile's Ice Shard. It's faster than a lot of things, basically, and it can pretty much knock out the majority of Pokemon um, after, at plus two, especially that we're an adamant variety because Earthquake and Close Combat being our coverage moves allow us to hit things like Tyranitar and Heatran for super effective damage, uh, or quad effective damage, rather. The, uh, the, the adamant nature doesn't really take away from that because you're still able to outspeed them regardless. Then we have Belly Drum Azumarill, so we've got a base 102 Aqua Jet, yet another priority move. Priority is basically the biggest thing. Uh, there's a lot of Weaviles running around right now uh, because of uh, base 102 Ice Shard, uh, or even Faint, I mean. Like you could you could use either one or fake out or or anything like that. Like it's it's just really really good. Uh, Weavile is is one of the biggest threats uh, at the moment. Pinsir is is also one of them, and so is Azumarill. Belly Drum Azumarill is ridiculous with Aqua Jet. You go up to we're an adamant uh, set rate right, right here. You can see uh, it already hits 436 attack. Multiply that by four and then give it a priority base 102 Water move. Nothing switches in on this absolutely nothing in the game except like an unaware Pokemon is the only thing that, that can actually take this on and even at that like it has a hard time uh, like unaware Quagsire and Clefable get pretty much to it KO'd by Play Rough uh, most of the time unless they're fully bold uh, then we have Zapdos I wanted something to check Mega Pinsir because I knew how big of a threat it could be uh, so I wanted something that could actually take its plus two faint uh, and hit it back and knock it out volt switch is base 100 uh, because of the uh, or base 102 rather because of it's in the first slot then we have roost defog and heat wave heat wave able to hit uh, grass types and ferrothorns things like that then I wanted to check to Azumarill so I decided to bring Celebi uh, with this exact Celebi set uh, set the 216 right here uh, we're able to uh, eat a uh, plus six Azumarill's Aqua Jet after rocks. Uh, the 36 special attack allow us to do 75% uh, to it, so it's a guaranteed knockout. Uh, 240 HP, of course, which pairs up with the defense nicely. And then 16 speed because I wanted to outspeed things like uh, Magnezone, stuff like that, so that's why we're, we've got that. Then I brought a Toxic Orb. I'm, fi I'm finally using Gliscor for like the first time in a very long time. This is one of the metas I feel that it could uh, excel in. We have Acrobatics, Earthquake, Fling, and Swords Dance. So basically the idea is get off your, uh, your Toxic Heal. Poison Heal, rather. Uh, fling away your Toxic Orb. Set up a Swords Dance. And then Acrobatics is a base 204 move after the, um, after the item is gone. So you have a base 204 flying stab move at plus two once again nothing's taking that this is basically bird spam in a way because uh, you have these three and our final pokemon is klefki like i said uh weavile is running around a lot so i wanted something that could check weavile as well as other ice types uh like kirin black i wanted something that could take that on uh landorus we gave it flash cannon in the first slot this is a base 102 flash cannon so very nice uh thunder wave magnet rise and of course spikes we have a, a sort of spike stacking core or hazard stacking core with uh Celebi and Klefki. Very nice defensively. So uh, let's just hop into a game. I've spent about four minutes talking about the team. I think that's more than enough. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're running and why this works. So hopefully we can find a couple of games. I don't know how many people are actually playing this right now, uh, but we found one. Okay, cool. So my opponent has a Red Rock. I'm curious to see what he put in the first slot. It could be a uh, power up punch actually. Because uh, power-up punch goes to base 102, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he is bringing a Klefki, so very nice. Uh, he's got a Mega Pinsir, so we got to watch out for Faint. Uh, if he is Jolly, he will be faster than our Faint, so i got to be very careful with that. Uh, I like Zapdos' as a lead here. It leads off pretty well against pretty much everything on my opponent's team, outside of maybe the Regirock. Everything else it can handle, so I like that lead. And uh, let's see, we got a Klefki here. I'm going straight for the Heat Wave. 
uh, as he goes for a spike. We do have defog on this set. Unfortunately, we missed the heat wave, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for it again. We hit this time, and what's he going to hit us with? Uh, Draining Kiss, which is base 102 because it's in his first slot. He has like no HP investment. That's that's really cool. Uh, I'm just going to go for another heat wave here. Weaken this thing even further. If he wants to go into his red rock, it's fine. I'm going to be able to uh, burn the Klefki, actually, which is very nice. Uh, and now I'm going to go for a Defog to get rid of these hazards. I don't see him setting up another layer of spikes. If he does, I will Defog again on the next turn. He does just choose to go for a Draining Kiss, uh, and I'm assuming he's going to get up another layer. So I'm actually going to Roost here, and uh, he's going to go down a little bit to burn. Uh, he actually chooses to switch out into Landorus, so that's very nice for us. We will be able to get off this Roost right here. A uh, Rock Tomb might be coming my way, a base 102 Rock Tomb, which could be very bad for us. I don't want to switch into Celebi in case he U-turns. Uh, I feel like Gliscor might be my play. And this is exactly what I'm going to do because I want to get off the Toxic Orb and I want to fling it away. He goes for Smackdown. Okay, so very nice play. Now I can get hit by his Earthquake. Uh, but I am just going to fling him the Toxic Orb. I'm assuming he's going to go for the Earthquake here. That's a base 102 Smackdown, by the way, and it's I think it's 100% accurate. And if I just flung something at my mic, I'm very sorry. But... Uh, I think I just want to get this thing poisoned as soon as possible. He does go for an Earthquake, that's fine. We're going to fling our Toxic Orb, do 7%, and he is now toxic. so this is nice. Uh, I kind of want to conserve Gliscor because it does pretty well. Uh, actually, why would you bring Talonflame to this meta? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Like, why would you, why would you bring that? Um, I don't see him having U-turn uh, on this set, so I'm just going to switch out into Celebi. He does set up rocks, so as I expected. This is a base 100 Giga Drain, by the way, guys, so it can do a lot. I'm just going to set up my own rocks. He does have U-turn, gets a crit right there. A little unfortunate for us, but we are going to get these rocks up. I'm assuming he's going to go Talonflame. Right here, we will see what my opponent wants to do. Um, that crit kind of hurts, because now I can't even switch him back on rocks, I believe. I'm at 5.2. Yeah, I can't. Uh, he, has, he is going to bring in Talonflame. Very nice play. I'm going to attempt to go for a U-turn right here. What did he say? Um, was he not expecting... It learns SD. What learns SD? Oh, Talonflame? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Zapdos is at full. Uh, I can see him going for Acrobatics. Uh, which is base 10... Which is base 200 right now. Does that take out Zapdos? Uh, sorry, I had my email open here because I forwarded myself the team. Let's just see if Zapdos actually goes down to this. I'm curious. What's our Zapdos set? Like, how much defense do we actually have on it? Uh, 172, so we're standard. That could be bad. Zapdos. Um, physically defensive. Uh, 176, yep. Versus Talonflame. Let's say, uh, OU, uh, Swords Dance. Change Brave Bird for Acrobatics, because that's what I'm assuming he is. Make the base power 102, and take away his item, and give me a plus 2. Acro does still very little, actually. It only does 29 to 34. So I am just going to go straight into Zapdos, and if I, he shows an item, then I don't have to worry too much about this thing. Um, does he show an item? No. Okay, so I'm assuming he is indeed uh, Acro. So I'm going to go for Volt Switch right here. He's going to go for Flare Blitz. He's not going to be able to knock us out. He's actually going to get a burn, but I am going to be able to take out his Talonflame. The only problem here is that his Pinsir just became a huge issue, and I can't defog these rocks in away anymore. I figure that's what would happen, but... Um, I'm going to go... What do I go into here? Actually, Azumarill is looking pretty nice now. Outside of that Pinsir, like, it, it just kills everything. So... I'm going to go Klefki, because spike stacking is not a bad thing at all. We have Magnet Rise for the uh, for the Landorus. I'm assuming he's not going to go straight for Earthquake, so I'm actually just going to Flash Cannon right here. He does just go straight for Earthquake, okay. Uh, that's a very nice play. But now I can bring in my Azumarill, and I can click Aqua Jet and knock this thing out. If he wants to switch, that's good. Um, yeah, pretty much, I just sacked my only Mega Pinsir check. But uh, we're going to get rid of this Landorus right here. He's going to go into Starmie. I'm not going to allow my Azumarill to take any more damage because it can knock out Pinsir, I believe. Let's see, after Rocks. Pinsir. Mega Pinsir. OU Swords Dance versus uh, Azumarill. Let's say Belly Drum at plus 6. Uh, no, at neutral. Aqua Jet normally does 24 to 29. What if it's base 102? 
It does 63 to 75, so I need an absolute max roll. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to sack off my Zapdos. Yeah, I think I'm going to sack off my Zapdos here. Yeah, all right. So we're going to let this go down. Um, just in case he wanted to spin, which he did, okay. So he wasn't afraid of Azumarill belly drumming up. Which means he definitely has faint. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our own pincer. We're going to Mega Evolve and click Swords Dance. Because that is my only way to win now. I think. Does plus two close combat take out Regirock from an Adamant pincer? Let's find out. Change me an Adamant. Give me close combat against... Azumarill, it does 26 to 31, so I can only assume Regirock. Uh, mixed defensive tank at plus 2. Takes 87 to 103. Hmm. That's a defensive variant, though, right? No, that's ma <laughs> that's max attack adamant. Um, okay, well, I have to Swords Dance regardless. As he goes for an Ice Beam, wow. <laughs> he actually had Ice Beam, that's crazy. Uh, I gotta go Azumarill. I think we're gonna lose this one. Uh, because he did crit us early on in the game. I'm just going to go for a drum. Uh, he does go for Psy Shock, and we're not even going to be able to drum up, because he has Life Orb. I'm gonna, just going to go for an Aqua Jet, honestly, because I have no other play at this point. And uh, he's going to knock us out with Psy Shock, and Gliscor is going to go down to an Ice Beam. So that's going to be a good game. I mean, I'm just going to forfeit that one. Uh, that crit really sucked, because <laughs> Zapdos would have been a lot healthier. So... Um... But, I mean, was it on Zapdos? No, it was on Celebi. Z Celebi would have been a lot healthier, and Celebi could have actually put in some work there at the end, especially against the Starmie. I mean, it was Life Orb with Ice Beam, but I think we could have lived one of those if he hadn't crit us. We would have had opportunities to get back up a uh, recover uh, on a lot of his members. So, anyway, um, let's get into the next game. Let's see if we can actually pick up a win. And uh, I can't sack all my Mega Pincer checks this time, if he has one. Okay, so Deblade is actually a huge threat to this team uh, because of base 102 Shadow Sneak. So I got to be very, very careful with that. Um, how do I want to deal with that? I really want to lead with... I want to lead with Celebi uh, against this guy because he has a Landorus and I want to just get up rocks. Like if he U-turns, we saw how much a crit did. Uh, it won't do too much. It'll only do about 55%, so... Uh, he does go for his own rocks. Okay, that's fine. I do have a Defogger. Um, in retrospect, the Spinner might, be, might have been better, but... I'm gonna go for Gage Drain right here. It's gonna do a nice 37%, and he's gonna go for a U-turn. Okay, that's offensive. Because the other one crit me, and it did that much. So that is extremely offensive. He's gonna go straight into the Blade. Uh, I'm actually not going to give him an opportunity to set up here. I'm just going to go for a U-turn. As he goes for a Shadow Sneak, that's fine. That I don't mind. Um, let's go into Gliscor, I think, is a fine play. And we will... I really want an SD right here. Uh, I'm going to EQ first. As he's going to go into Lando, that's fine. Uh, we got our Toxic Orb off. I'm going to fling him my Toxic Orb. Get him poisoned. It's not going to do too much. It's going to do like 5%. Yep, 4. Get him poisoned. He's going to go for a U-turn. That's fine. His Lando, his Lando is getting weakened. Uh, one of the only things that could have taken hits from Pinsir. He still has the uh, Rotom, though. I have to watch out for that, which he goes into now. Uh, how do I want to play around this? Let's go... Let's go into Zapdos so that I can recover. And I can't get my Rocks back. He actually goes for Wisp. On my uh, on my Gliscor, which was already toxic, so very nice play. I'm gonna Volt Switch here, as he's gonna go out into Lando. He's just taking extra damage. Uh, he might be faster than us, so I have to watch out here. I'm gonna go into Klefki. Let's see what he has. I'm gonna keep Zapdos around, uh, specifically for the Rotom. That the Blade is such a threat, though. Is looking so threatening. He gets a crit on the Stone Edge, not a big deal. Uh, I'm just gonna Magnet Rise here, make sure he, he can't Earthquake me. Uh, should be his last move. He does go for Earthquake. Awesome. And he goes down to Poison. So, that's good. And uh, if Lopini comes in, I have to watch out because I can't Thunder Wave it if it doesn't Mega Evolve. He actually goes Talonflame. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go hard into Gliscor here. And he should go for a Flare Blitz in theory. He does. It does 41%, which means it shouldn't be enough to knock me out after the Poison Heal. And without my Toxic Orb, Acro should kill him in theory. 
should. Acro kills me though, first. Okay, makes sense. Um, Azumarill should live, definitely. Azumarill should live. Uh, we'll go for Jet right here. We'll just try to knock him out. If he switches on into Rotom, it's not a big deal because he comes back in at like 5%. Uh, he, that does so much damage. Just gonna go for a Jet right here, gonna be able to knock out the Talonflame. Uh, now he has to pick something to go into. I could keep Azumarill if I want to, um, which I might do. Because he has to watch out for Pinsir now, big time. Yeah, Pinsir like runs through him. Other than this Rotom, it just destroys him. Uh, he has a very powerful Aqua Gen online with Kabutops though, so I have to be very careful of that as well. I think I'm just going to go into Klefki here on his Fake Out, which he should go for in theory. Because he shouldn't want to get Jet. Yeah, he does go for Fake Out. Okay, cool. That's in the first slot. I guess it's a base 102. That makes sense. Um... Just gonna go for Thunder Wave. Gonna get this thing paralyzed. And he's gonna go for a high jump kick and miss, actually. That's pretty huge because now his Lopany is pretty much dead. Uh, I don't know if I wanna actually get up a spike here or just knock this thing out. I'm gonna knock it out. Uh, or not. Alright. He's gonna land the uh, the next high jump kick. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna go into Zapdos here. And I'm actually gonna defog because I really wanna get rid of these rocks for Pinsir. He's gonna go for a quick attack. It's not gonna do enough. Uh, he might go for another one here. Would that be enough to knock us out? Yes, it would. So I'll play off the full para and I'll go for a roost. And then we'll have to try to set up our pincer. Uh, he actually switches on into the blade, which is really nice for us, as I'll be able to go for a heat wave right here. And pincer's faint is faster than this. So he goes for a shadow sneak. That does a good amount of damage. We're going to get off a heat wave right here. We do not burn, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another heat wave. Uh, he does go for another sneak. I want to know if Pinsir's return, like standard Mega Pinsir's return, takes out the blade. Do blade. That's not how you spell the blade. You use Swords Dance. Uh, return does 18 to 21, so not enough. How much does his Shadow Sneak do to me if it's base 102? It does 51 to 60. And how much does Adamant Pinsir? Wait, I'm not calculating with Adamant. Uh, return does 19 to 23, so it still doesn't kill. Okay. Uh, how much does Adamant Pincer with close combat do to a Rotom Wash at plus two? Because I can win right here. Uh, Rotom Wash, physically defensive pivot. Uh, at plus two, it's still not doing it enough. That's the problem that I am faced with. Um, you know what? Let's... I think, I think Pinsir's my play regardless, and maybe, why am I Hyper Cutter? I should probably be, um, Mold, not, not Mold Breaker, Moxie, Moxie makes the most sense. Uh, let's go with Azumarill here, this is gonna be hard to win now, he still has that Lopany online with that fake out. Um, if he lets me set up to plus two. I mean, I still don't knock out the Rotom. I need a crit. It's at full. So I think I need to go Azumarill. Yeah, I need to go into Azu. And I need to click Aqua Jet right here. Uh, the problem is, he doesn't give me an opportunity to set up with uh, Pinsir. He goes into Kabutops, actually. Interesting. Um, I mean, it doesn't change much, but... I'm gonna go for a jet. He's gonna go for his own jet and knock us out because, of course, it is base 102. Is this thing banded? Like, hold on a second. Should Azumarill die to that? Azumarill, if it's not Life Orb. Belly Drum to Kabutops. Offensive. Without a Life Orb. Even if it's Adamant. Give me Aqua Jet base 102. 27 to 36. Okay, yeah. So if he's Adamant, he still knocks me out. Um, I'm gonna go for a Mega Evolved Swords Dance, I think. How much is gonna is, is Faint gonna do to this thing? Pinsir, uh, OU Swords Dance. Return does 45 to 53. Adamant. Adamant means I take it out, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for Swords Dance. As he goes for an Aqua Jet. Yep. And now we're going to go for a feint. It's base 102. It should be able to knock out Kabutops from here. Unless I get an absolute min roll. 
which can happen. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, he has a little more bulk investment in him. Yep. So we lose that one as well. All right, let's try to win a game, guys. <laughs> let's try to not get uh, Celebi destroyed early in the game. I have Celebi and Gliscor, two of my favorites on the team. If you haven't checked out the uh, top 10 favorite Pokemon, definitely do that. Okay, he has a very threatening Pokemon in Conkeldur. I haven't faced it yet. Uh, but because of Power Up Punch, it makes it extremely scary. So, not so much to my team, but just in general. Like, it's, it's very... It's a very threatening Pokemon. Uh, I just need to get Zapdos against this guy. It's pretty safe. Uh, it's super effective against three of his members. He has three water types. So, what's our record now? Are we like five and two? Or four and two? Let's just see. Rank. Where is return? There it is. Five and two. Okay, so that, that was those two losses. Like I said, guys, I got five wins with this team, but uh, that can't always happen. Metagross, huh? Um, he might have a base 100 Ice Punch online. That could be a thing. Don't really want to lo lose this early, though. Let's just go for Heat Wave. Let's see what he has. He's AV, I guess. He goes for Ice Punch. Doesn't do too much. Uh, we're able to take that really well. Uh, and he's slower than us. So I'm going to go for a Volt Switch here. Uh, assuming that he's going to go for another Ice Punch, I'm going to go into Klefki and start getting up some spikes. Uh, as he does go for another Ice Punch. Okay, perfect. And we are going to start setting up spikes here on this man. Uh, that means that if we get up three layers, his Metagross comes in at 5%. I gotta be very, very careful around that Conkeldur, guys. And especially around that Azumarill. If it sets up a Belly Drum, I basically just lose. Oh, okay, that's his... Okay, that makes sense. Yep, Bullet Punch. Alright, uh, I kind of want to go back into Zapdos. I feel like he'd predict that. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, as he... Let's see. He goes for another Bullet Punch. Okay, we're able to take that really nicely. And Volt Switch... Did 33 last time. I'm actually going to go for a Roost because we're faster. So his Ice Punch won't do as much if I Roost up. And in case he Bullet Punches me, that's the best play. He does go for another Ice Punch. No Freeze. Thank you. Let's go for another Volt Switch. Base 100. Should be able to knock him out. He can't really switch out on us. And then I have to play in accordance to whatever I feel is the best play afterwards. I could have Roosted there. Oh, wow. He took a Min Roll. Okay. Um, let's... Let's go into Celebi, and let's go for a U-turn, because I doubt he'd bullet punch here. Unless he's actually, like, super exceptionally slow. Yeah, okay, he does. I could have gotten up rocks there, but it's fine. Um, I think just going back into Zapdos and getting some leftovers recovery is probably the best play. Right here, as he is going to probably go Crawdont, because that Aqua Jet is extremely strong. And I don't really have a switch into it other than Celebi which I might have to go into right here. Celebi resists it, so it should be able to take it relatively well. Hopefully he doesn't go for a knockoff. Uh, he does go for the jet. That's awesome. That does 29%. He does take a lot of damage in the process through Life Orb, and Giga Drain should, in theory, be able to knock him out. He might even think that he's faster, and that I'm like a fully defensive variant, and he does, so we're able to get a lot of HP back from this Crawdont by Giga Draining it. Awesome. All right, so... I'm assuming the Umbreon's going to come out. What I'm going to want to do is get up rocks so that I can really damage the Azumarill and the Blastoise. I'll be able to switch into my Klefki afterwards. This should be a, a very easy win, especially with Pinsir in the back. Pinsir just tears through him now. Like, absolutely tears through him. He goes for Snarl. That's fine. Okay, he made that a base 100 move. Very nice. We're going to go for a U-turn, go into Klefki, set up some more spikes. He does have a Rapid Spinner in the back, but I kind of want to force him to spin. That gives me a free switch into Zapdos every time. So... We're going to get off a nice amount of damage with that U-turn. Going to go into Klefki here. And uh, he's going to go for another Snarl. That's fine. That does absolutely nothing to us. And we are just going to go for uh, some more spikes right here. If he goes into Blastoise, I might just paralyze it. Uh, I did say I wanted to take it as a an opportunity to switch into Blastoise, but a par uh, into a Zapdos, excuse me. Uh, but Blastoise could be a threat, so uh, that's, a, that's a win right there. Let's see if we can get one more, make it a 2-2. I, uh, I think we can definitely pull that off. As long as my opponent doesn't have a Blade, I think we should, we should be good to go. He has a very OU-looking team, actually. Uh, like, really not what you would normally see in this meta. But Zapdos is a huge threat. Uh, so is Metacham. If he has base 100 fake out, that is ridiculous. That is actually stupid. I didn't even think about that. Mega Metacham with base 100 fake out? Like, how am I even supposed to deal with that? Uh, I think I have to... Probably lead with Celebi. As Garchomp is going to be his lead. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get up rocks early, right away, immediately. I need damage off on everything. 
Uh, rocks do hinder me, but I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain here. He goes for Sand Tomb and misses. That's a base 100 physical move? Hold on. What does Sand Tomb do? We're about to look this up right now. Sand Tomb. Does that, like, lower my accuracy? I think it does. Sand Tomb. Let's see, guys. Let's see what this uh, this page says. Uh, we have a... It inf oh, it's a trapping move. Okay. All right, well, I'm going for another Giga Drain. He goes for a Dragon Claw. That does literally nothing. Uh, we're able to Giga Drain that all back. And we are going to go for a Recover right here on his next Dragon Claw. And just to get up to full. I mean, we have leftovers anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just going to go for another Giga Drain. He's going to miss another Sand Tomb. What is this thing's accuracy? Uh, it's 85. Okay, that makes sense. But it's base 100. That's actually pretty scary, and it traps you. So it's kind of like Magma Storm, I guess. Uh, Gardevoir comes in. Hmm. What is this thing going to do to me? Draining Kiss? Maybe? Uh, maybe... Sp mm, not Shadow Ball. I, I guess Draining Kiss would be his play, right? I'm just going to go into Clef Key. Because I want to see what he's going to do. He's going to go for a sub. Okay. That's fine. We do have uh, base 102 Flash Cannon right now. So that's exactly what I'm going to click. I don't want him setting up Calm Mines in front of me for free. We're just going to go for another Flash Cannon. It's my strongest move to hit him. If he wants to go into Zapdos, that's fine. I force out the Gardevoir. He's just going to go for another Calm Mind. We're going to do 33% with that. Um, I'm going to probably T-Wave here. Just because if he has Rest, he won't go for it here. Okay, cool. He goes for that. He's going to get a lot of health back in the process. We're not going to be able to get up our spikes, I don't think. Uh, because I need to deal with this thing soon. Well, I have a zoom roll. Yeah, I can go for I can afford to go for a spike right here. He's going to get fully paralyzed that turn. And I'm going to go for flash cannon now. It's going to do a good 30%. And uh, he's going to gain a lot of health back from draining kiss. But he's actually going to go for sub. So I don't agree with that play. Uh, because while, yes, he is going to knock me out, he's still going to be at a lower amount, and he risks the chance of getting fully paralyzed, as you guys can see right there. So, uh, his Gardevoir is now dead unless he spins away the rocks and the spike. And uh, there we go. So, that threat is dealt with. Uh, Excadrill comes in. Okay. Well, I'm not allowing you to hit me. I'm going to go for a Magnet Rise if you want to get rid of the rocks. That's fine. Let's see what he does. He does just go for a base 100 Rapid Spin. <laughs> That's cool. Um, just going to spike up again. And, uh, he's gonna bring in Zapdos, that's fine. We're going to spike up one more time. I'm going to let Klefki go down. I have no reason to keep it around anymore. Uh, I have ways of dealing with his Metacham at this point, now that he's lost a couple of members. He's gonna go for that powerful Volt Switch. It's not his base 100 move, though. That would have done more, I feel like. Uh, but he can easily go into his, uh, his Excadrill here at this point. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Metacham, interesting. Um, I'm just gonna go for a T-Wave. Let's see if he has that fake out that I was talking about. He does, but we live on one. Ooh. All right. Uh, I'm just going to... I think I'm just gonna Flash Cannon. Uh, as he brings in Zapdos, that's fine. We're gonna go for another Spike, and if he knocks us out, that just means that his Excadrill can't spin on me, because I will bring in Azumarill. So, he's gonna go for Air Cutter. He's gonna knock us out right there. That's good. Uh, we're going to go into Celebi here. Uh, I did see Air Cutter. It is base 100. Um, it can knock me out. No, I don't think it can. Let's see. If he specs, maybe, but he's leftovers. We already know that. Yeah, that can't knock me out. We're going to get back up our rocks. That's really nice. And I do not have an answer to this Air Cutter right now. Was he faster than me? Yes, so he's more offensive. Uh, I let Celebi go down here to the next Air Cutter. And we shall go into... Does he not have Hidden Power Ice? Um, it's a possibility. I mean, this thing is really scary. I'm going to go into my own Zapdos here. And I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. If he brings in his Drill, it's fine. He goes for a Toxic. Okay, so that might mean that he doesn't have HP Ice. So let's go into Gliscor. Let's test the waters. He might be Roost, Toxic, Volt Switch, and Air Cutter. Like Dual Stab. That would make the most sense. Uh, I'm just going to go for a fling immediately. Let's see if he has the HP ice. If he does, he's in a very comfortable position. Gliscor was actually able to outspeed the Zapdos, interestingly enough. Um, 240. Okay, so it was a speed tie with Celebi. He's the same speed as my Zapdos. Okay. All right, we're going to go for a Swords Dance here. Um, he might think that we're just generally faster. So he might want to just get out of here. 
knowing that he can't really do anything to us. Now his Zapdos is on a timer as well. Goes for Air Cutter, that's fine. We're gonna go for Swords Dance. This might actually be able to knock him out. Let me just calc this up. Gliscor, a little bit of a longer episode. Well, no, it's about standard. Uh, OU Swords Dance, give me Acro over Roost. Acrobatics, uh, Acrobatics at plus two uh, with a base 110. Uh, itemless against a Zapdos. Physically defensive. Uh, nope, still doesn't do enough. But I am going to click it. Uh, he's going to get a crit and beat us on the speed tie. But we're going to be able to do enough to knock out the Zapdos. It did a lot more than I expected it to. I guess it wasn't factoring in that I didn't have an item. If I change this to 220, maybe. Um, why is it not changing the base power? That's weird. Anyway. Um, Excadrill is going to come in. I don't think it knocks me out. So I'm just going to go for an EQ. He is going to go for a Rapid Spin and he is going to knock us out. Wow, that's crazy. How strong is this thing? Is this thing banded? Hold up. Um, how do I win this? I guess, I guess with Azu. Yeah, let's go into a zoom roll. Let's click. Actually, I'm curious. 288 defense. How much HP did we have? How much HP do we have? 352. 352, 288 defense versus Excadrill. I'm only checking this. Yeah, that should have never killed me. Uh, maybe, maybe, hold on, 102? Yeah, 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 okay, it does, it does, it does. So I can't bank on him being adamant. Uh, or banded, rather. I'm just gonna go for Jet. I'm gonna knock out this Excadrill, because I can't risk it attacking me. Uh, if he goes into Metacham, he goes into Jirachi, actually. Okay. I'm just gonna Jet, because it's extremely powerful. And I can win with Pinsir alone. Like, Pinsir's faint destroys Metacham, so. Oh my god! Did you guys see that damage? Did you guys see that damage? That was insane. What? 68%! What the heck? Hold on, Metacham. I just wanna see. I wanna check to see if this fake out can kill us. Base 102 versus uh, Azuma Real. OU. Uh, choice band. Belly drum, belly drum. Fake out the 61 to 72, so my best play. Okay, he well he forfeited, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a win for us. I hate being on the calc when things like that happen, but uh, I would have switched out into Zapdos, uh, gone back into Azumarill, clicked Aqua Jet, knocked him out. If he had the Bullet Punch and was able to knock us out, uh, well it wouldn't have been able to knock us out because it's not it doesn't get the return boost. Uh, but even for whatever reason, if he was able to take us out before my Aqua Jet could kill him, uh, I still had Faint in the back from Pinsir, and he couldn't out prioritize that. So. That's, uh, that's gonna be uh, it for this live, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, if you want to use the team, uh, I did go over it at the beginning of the episode, so just grab it from there. You can see all the sets. Like I went over all the EVs and everything. They're pretty standard, uh, but the team works well. I think it's got a, a few key weaknesses, especially the blade. The blade is huge. Uh, against this team it absolutely destroys it like you saw how much that shadow sneak did to Zapdos Nothing on my team takes its shadow sneak. So uh, if you want to try out this meta definitely give it a shot Let me know what kind of team you're using uh, if you have any innovations for moves to put in the first slot uh, To give it the return boost uh, check out the form as well because they do give things that are banned I believe uh, certain Pokemon. I really want to try out uh, Fell Stinger Mega Beedrill as well with U-Turn, Poison Jab, and Drill Run. Uh, I'm probably going to try that out maybe tomorrow even, so definitely look out for that. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. Again, make sure to like the uh, click that like button, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao!